what's up guys uh, back again with a tutorial for you guys and uh, this is gonna be a pretty short one real easy for you guys to follow and it's gonna be on color correction just uh, gonna be showing you how to bring out the highlights and shadows within images um, here's the image we're gonna be working with today I'm going to be probably darkening her hair bringing out her eyebrows a little bit more darkening them uh, darken her lips a little bit and probably make her eyes pop bring the colors out in her eyes and oh I didn't notice this pixelation here on her face it's just an image that I grabbed from Google but you know we're gonna work around that <laughs> alright so first well obviously first you're gonna open Photoshop we're gonna be working in Photoshop CS6 today I'll probably put a link in the description for you guys below it's easy to find online uh, whether you purchase it, get it free, I don't know. Alright, so. Uh, we're going to bring our image into Photoshop. I'm just going to drag it, do it the lazy way. Okay, so first you're going to unlock the layer. And what I like to do is uh, create a duplicate of the image. And just, uh, well... I don't want it in the group, I want it above it. Okay, I want this one in the group. And I'll call this control, then I'll hide it. Just so I can see a before and after. And this is our image that we're gonna be working with. Okay, so first, um, the tools I am going to be using are called adjustment layers, so down here, on the symbol it looks kind of like a yin yang type looking thing and today we're going to be using the brightness and contrast tool and let's see what else we're going to need probably hue and saturation and what else should I drag in there that's probably all we need uh, probably vibrance bring vibrance in there Alright, now what these are, are uh, adjustment layers. We're able to adjust, obviously, the vibrance, hue, saturation, brightness, contrast, uh, and um, color balance, black and white, whatever you want to. Other type of uh, layer that you want to select. But today we're working with these ones, and what they do is they adjust the brightness or whatever you're working with without uh, destroying the actual image so I can go and click twice right here when you click twice on the icon it goes to brings this box up so if I were to make this really crazy uh, it doesn't destroy my image at all if I were to turn that layer off it would go back to itself anyways that was really really horrible Bring that back to zero. All right, so I'm gonna bring the contrast up a little bit. And probably the brightness down. And go to my hue and saturation. Sometimes just the littlest tweaks make, you know, that much of a difference. Bring the vibrance down so her face isn't so pink. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to be using a tool. The Burn and Dodge tool. It's right here. Click and hold and you'll be able to see Dodge and Burn. And we're gonna start off with the burn tool. Get that a little bit bigger. And we're gonna burn her hair. And what that does is it, um, you can either grab the highlights, shadows, or the midtones. Shadows are more towards the uh, blacks, and the highlights are more towards whites. So we're gonna be burning the darker colors more towards the black. 
making them darker, adding contrast to them, really. So, we need burn, 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 burn. Burning your hair. <laughs> I'm also going to go ahead and grab their eyebrows. Go back to my tool. I can't even see the other eyebrow. Alright. And then we're going to use our dodge tool to make her eyes pop out a little bit more. And I'm going to be grabbing the mid-tones. And you can't see your other eye either. Look at the shadows. And I'll probably leave the highlights a little bit. And then we're going to come down to her lips, and we're going to burn those as well. And get the mid-tones of them. It's kind of like I'm putting lipstick on her. Now that I'm this close, it looks like she got chapped lips. Whenever I'm uh, fixing blemishes on people's faces or things like that, I mean... Pretty awkward, you know, zooming into your friend's face this close. I'm not sure what this pixelation here is. Let me burn that. Looks like she had like a weird rash or something. And then I'll go ahead and throw all of this into a group so you guys can see before and after. control on top. Alright, so here's before, and here is after. And obviously this image was in too high resolution. We got a little pixelation here, and some pixelation over here. It's just an image that I grabbed from Google, but uh, you gotta work with what you got. <laughs> And I'll probably even darken the background. Let's see, I'll just like make a new layer. Get my uh, brush tool. Draw along the edges here. Whoa. And I'm just going to lower the opacity of that. There we go. Much better. And there you guys have it. That's the final image. I hope you we're able to learn something from this. I know it's pretty fast paced, but you know, this is uh, really simple. I just wanted to really just show you guys these tools. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, to see more tutorials, go ahead and subscribe. Next week I will probably have a tutorial on how to colorize grayscaled images, so stay tuned to that. Uh, thank you for watching.